Good morning, you spunky bastards. It is Friday, and what a fantabulously freaky Friday. I just went home to my home home, not to the hotel, and uh, picked up a spare hoodie because this one's getting a bit grubby and needs a wash, and I need something to to hold me over. Yay, spare hoodies. So yeah, I've got two, two yellow hoodies. So, I don't wear the same hoodie every day, what are you talking about? No, um, I have been wearing the same hoodie for, for a number of days, but I needed to, to get a clean one. And, yes, anyway, blender of the day. So, what was I saying? Um, just walked through the um, old neighbourhood and everyone's putting out their Halloween decorations. And Ted, our next door neighbour, has an awesome... Um, giant tarantula thing on top of his stone egg and the eggs all covered in spider webs and it just looks very awesome and he's also got like this big I don't know brain thing on his driveway that he's kind of got a little uh, hollow um, thing in the middle I'm guessing he's gonna put all the candy in and he's made the outside of it look like a brain with uh, some of that um, uh, moulding stuff, you know, you squirt it into uh, a crack in the wall and it spans and he's just sort of like done little wiggles of it all over it and it, and it gives it the texture of a brain and that's a very clever idea. See, Ted is awesome at the whole uh, Halloween decoration things because he's always thinking of really cool, uh, really cool little designs and, and things and every year his house is like super awesome uh, for Halloween trick or treaties. And I wanted to do some some stuff and I'm super bummed I won't get to because my house is still under construction. But I had a nice conversation with the workers there and they're doing a really good job. I'm so glad to see to see that there's there is actually work being done. It's not it's not just, you know, them stringing us along. But, you know, I'm just having one of those, one of those Fridays where it's like, I need, I need to do laundry and stuff. No, I need to wash this hoodie that I'm wearing here. So I'm going to wear this hoodie instead while well, this one's in the wash. See what I mean? Um, so yeah, all my, all my yellow shirts need to be washed and stuff. As well as all my jeans and boxers and everything else was like... I have a distinct lack of of clothes and I'm like running around. I feel like I'm wearing my pajamas right now. So I feel like I'm 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 wearing my my gym trousers from last night. Right. But I like wearing my gym trousers and I'm like, ew, you're all sweaty and stuff in the gym. Eh. So I'm I feel like I'm wearing gross stuff. It shouldn't be worn in public, uh, so I'm gonna gonna make sure all my clothes is washed. I don't want to be sitting around in the in the laundromat in a pair of boxers. So I had to go home and get some spare clothes for me to wear while I was doing my laundry. It makes sense, right? Right. I'm glad. Oh, good. There's puppies. Hi, puppies. So, um, yeah, that happened. Um, the only other thing was that I didn't bring my shaver with me. So I got this old big old bum fluff growing under my chin. Uh, yes, I got the big bum fluff. So I need to, needed to pick up my shaver while I was there. And I actually ran out of tea. Oh no, a British man without his tea. Whatever shall I do? Uh, I decided to give up caffeine. I, I know I told you I decided to give up caffeine, but I'm, I'm sort of like, you know, Tea doesn't contain that much caffeine. And I'm, I'm limiting myself to one cup of tea a day, but I had to go back and get some more tea bags. Because the, the main decider for, for me giving up caffeine was coffee, coffee's making me cranky or something. Like maybe people are like, oh, you're too cranky. Well, I'll give up the caffeine then and see how cranky I am, yeah? Yeah, you see how cranky it is. It's okay. There we go. Okay, thank you. Ah, uh, ladies, let me cross the road. Yay! Good girl. Um, what was I saying? So, um, people think the, the cocky, coffee's making cocky? <laughs> cocky. 
It's like halfway between coffee and pocky. Ooh, coffee flavored pocky, that's a good idea. You know, they've got strawberry and vanilla and as well as the chocolate. That might be good. That might be good. Um, oh, was it? So if the coffee's making me cranky, uh, yeah, I want to see what me without the coffee is going to do, right? <laughs> but, you know, I've got to have at least one cup of tea a day. I can't, I can't not be dealing with this. This, I'm, I'm literally falling asleep, you know? I feel like in, uh, in the middle of class and my head hits the desk, it's like, Boof! and gas is out like a light. Oh no, so we can't be dealing with that. I've definitely got to be, got to be more awake at school. <laughs> can't be falling asleep now. Um, bluf. hold on, gotta hit the button. Pew. Okay. Hopefully that button pressed you. Yay! It's all sounding familiar now, isn't it? And we're gonna jump over the wall in a minute. It's all gonna be good. It's like old times. I've been back with an old friend. So I'm gonna go get on the train in a minute so I can head back to the hotel and do Adam and And ah, the only problem is I've managed to mess up my wrist sometime during the week. So I've been wearing this wrist brace all the time. And I swear, it's like the fucking claw. I tried to give someone a hug. Like, I was trying to say goodbye last night. I gave someone a hug and I just hit them in the back with the brace. <laughs> it's like the claw. <laughs> it was totally stupid. Oh wow, that is a cool Kawasaki Ninja. Uh, check out these colours. Ain't that cool? You see that? If you can see that, I'll get you. I'll get you a better view in a minute. Hold on. Oh, someone left the D lock on top of the thing. Why would you leave a D lock on top of the thing? I've got to jump over here. Hold on. I'll stick you in my mouth for a sec. Oh. Uh -huh. And I'll put you there, and then hopefully, ah. <sighs> so yeah, there's the ninja. You see this ninja? See, ninja. And uh, we jump down, and I'll show you the orangey, orangey blue colourness of it. It's really cool. So, yeah. isn't that cool? That's a cool ninja. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, so we're heading south on the train this time. So I don't need to cross the train. Oh, there's another cool bike. Look out. Yeah. It's all futuristic and stuff. Kind of like the ones off of, um, off of Tron. The new Tron, not the old Tron. The old Tron, the bikes didn't look... Uh, they didn't look quite as realistic as well. We've come a long way, technologically speaking, in the past 10, 10, 20 years. Like, all our 3D animations are just like, whoa. Like, since Toy Story kind of, kind of broke it and, and pushed it to a whole other level. <laughs> but you now, since then, we, we've really outdone ourselves with all the digital artiness. Yeah. So we've uh, started up a digital arts and animation club and stuff at uh, college and I'm, I think I'm going to volunteer as the timekeeper because we went over time and so I don't know if I'm any good at the timekeeping business we shall see but we're coming up on nine minutes now so that's my usual usual time nine ten minutes sometimes and sometimes I run over so I don't know if I am a good timekeeper we shall see. In the meantime, I'd like you all to take care. Stay creative. Thank you for listening to my vlog. I love you, spunky bastards. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Goodbye. Boop.